morning to you all my subscribers at Princey Seats channel. If you are new to the channel kindly subscribe and press the notification button for onward information. All Grant Pressure Group of Nigeria clarifies issues on modules operandi. Pay attention to this. Thank you. My name is Ustaz Daoud of All Grant Pressure Group of Nigeria. I am coming your way this morning to throw more lights on our stand and how we do our things. And then how we do our things is our own way of doing things. Not your own way or not other people's way. Because um, we are not just um, here playing gamble. We are here for a purpose. Um, Somebody sent me a message today that um, Old Grand Pressure Group, this is just the starting. I think he said this is just be the beginning. I think somebody called him Chuvra. He sent me a message that um, this is just the beginning. All Grand Pressure Group must come and confess or apologize. I don't know how he put it. I think his apology that he said to the masses for leading them astray, something of those nature or whatever. And many people have been saying this. But I just want to let the masses know from this angle that um, if we make mistakes we know if we don't make mistakes we know and then um, for the fact for you to know that um, our move is not a selfish move and it is not a calculated planned move sometimes we make mistakes then if we realize we apologize and that that is what makes us different from many other people in the grant community if we make mistakes, see, for you to do wrong, it's not a crime. For you to do wrong, it's not a crime. For you not to repent or, or, or apologize or seek for forgiveness after you might have already realized that you do wrong, that is the crime. What makes you human is not for you not to make mistake. What makes you human is when you realize your mistake, admit to it. That is where our grand pressure group is better and more unique than many other people in the grant community. If we do something, look, the apology we came to do to um, Madam Brimey, the apology we came to then to give to him was just to her. I mean, was just a mistake from somewhere. And you know, there is no how we can ever bring that to woman and ridicule her in the grand community, not just because of her, based on who she's connected with, which is Brahmi that we are seen as icon, as a legend of our day. Somebody we respect so much. So anybody that comes from that angle has respect to us. And that is why we are still giving some respect to even Beatrice or Dudu's family. I just want you people to know that. So, we can make mistakes. To make mistakes is just a human thing. And to admit to it is another human thing. Okay? So, um, some people are saying that they are mocking us based on our constant apology that we used to do all this and that. Yes, that is what makes us human. That is what makes us better than many people. Whenever we make mistakes, we know. and believe me, if up till now we are still holding on to something, after we, uh, yes, since you know that um, we usually apologize, everybody can admit to this. When we make, when we wrong, we apologize. If you can recognize this, and we are still holding on to something, we are not letting go of that very particular point, and we are still dragging on that particular point, and yet we refuse to apologize for what we believe in or what we stand on which means that um we are not wrong yet we have not seen anything wrong that what that we are doing and there's something that is still holding us sticking us to that very belief that we believe which is uaag and apostle ken because this is where everything is coming from many people want us to start fighting apostle ken unfortunately we don't fight people because you want us to fight people. We fight people when it is right for us to fight people. I know most of you don't know what it what fight means. You don't even know how to write petition. 
Some of you don't even know the way to follow when to write petition. Yes, we make mistakes. Uh, some of them we have even gone in for like me. I have been detained. All Grandpa Jogo have been detained for some kind of error yesterday. And remember, the petition, the petition that Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat is still there. The petition that Jehoshaphat wrote that got all Grand Pedro group detained was coming from a wrong perspective. Yes, I can say this. Let him call me again. Was coming from a wrong perspective. And you know, one thing that the police want to see is when it comes to threat to life and murder. And the petition carries murder and threat to life based on how they presented it. And if you take this kind of matter to police, it's always a serious case, threat and murder. They don't want to hear that and take it for granted. And then um, threat and murder in the course of trying to know more about this, we got delayed at the end of the day, we end up sleeping there. And then um, this is not just because we didn't sleep there because of the mistake we did, because of the weight of the petition that is what get us to sleep there. So anyhow you want think and share, think and like that. But um it is obvious that all Grand Prix Group has no hand in threat to life and murder case. But when they got to realize that yes it's true all Grand Prix Group has nothing to do with threat to life and murder case. Well our case is finished. Ask Jewish apart our case got out and as well we apologize public apology for the way we, the one that we are involved in we apologize for it which all of you knows but um anything more than that we don't have hand in it and some people say that we are not fighting apostolic the way we fought them theophilus the way apostolic is operating and the way theophilus is operating is different and you need different fighting skills to fight those two people Number one, Tio said that he has the money. In fact, he will go to the extent of saying that the money came in cash. And he said that his money is Tiobat Global Foundation money, not anybody's money. And people pay directly to him in millions, in hundreds of millions. And you can now calculate the rest of it. Then coming to Apostle Ken, Apostle Ken said that they said that his name is there before he even get to know that his name is there that we informed him even before he get to know later which means he later get to know his name is there he's involved he's connected to the grant he never said that the money is his money or his organization has the money no Tiobat Grove has said that the organization, Tiobat Grove Foundation, has the money. The video is still out there. Apostle Ken have never said that the money is his money or his source for the money or his organization has the money. No, he has never said this. And he said that his name is his, he is just involved in the process that will bring this money out or to the masses. He never said that he's even board of directors in UAAG or UAS. He never said so. And when it comes to payment, the biggest weapon we have to fight is proof of payment. And if we have to fight anybody with prove that, with that we have to do with proof of payment, I think it's going to be Ngoya Chuku. Because up to today, he came out and he said the amount of people that pay 35000 because the only one that you can trace directly to him from the masses is the 35000 from NGOs. And what is even that five thousand? And he said that he gave. He said in a video, public video, that the that five thousand was paid by I think it's thirty thousand NGOs that he mentioned. And he said we are, we go to him, and he said that he can give account for it because we have already asked him question on this before. And he said that some things, some of the problem that he later had with some of the people that he later had problem with is that they want him to bring the money so that they can share it. And he said that he's going to be the only one to give account for all those money. So he cannot give it out for anybody to share except for the purpose that he collected it for. And because of this, some people triggered anger. Some people that was with him yesterday, they break out thinking that he's collecting money, he's not sharing with them. <laughs> 
So this one is another story anyway. So if you want to fight him because of this 35,000 naira, he have every other way to defend himself. And we don't want to start a fight that somebody at the end of the day will just come and defend himself and walk away, boldly walking away, and we'll be looking at him because we have done that to you in Berekati family. We were ashamed. Even Jennifer Isaac burst out with crying. With cry, she was crying because the intimidation was too much. So whenever we want to fight somebody, we will look for a good ground to fight him, not just because masses want us to fight him. So, and you people don't know what is... In fact, how many of you have ever fought your NGO? Ordinary NGO. How many of you have ever petitioned your NGO, got your NGO head arrested, or protest against your NGO, just the NGO head? How many of you? Not only talk of small, small grant handlers. Small, small grant handlers, as in small, small ones. Like we see here, the small, small ones. Small, small ones. Even who seem all and the rest of it, those small, small grant handlers. How many of you have ever fought them? Not only talk of big, almighty, big grant handler, like um, Topicon, Tio, and Apostolken. How many of you? You don't even know what it takes to fight a grant handler. All you know is that all oh, grant people can do it, let them do it. If they cannot do it, we fight them to do it. You cannot fight us to fight people for you. So now we have already come with some kind of advice last time that, like, um, for example, this UAAG, like all grand project, we have not gotten a clean ground to fight him and win him. So if you think you are lying and you think you have all the means to fight him, I think you know how to do it. Then we can even give you a clue on how to go about it. Like UAAG or UAS, now the way they are claiming that UAAG came from. UAS has board of trustees. Not just I'm not talking about commissioners. Commissioners are small, uh, appointed posts that are there. Those who are done small self. But I did say that they are too small, but there's something that they cannot do. They have BOT member, board, board of trustee members, they have stakeholders. Report, since most of the commissioners know about this, let them report. Those people are still there breathing. I think at least um, Professor Brimey is not a one-man soldier, one man, it's not a one-man one -man squad. So let go and inform those people that somebody is tarnishing the almighty project that, or mutilating the almighty project, image of the almighty project that Professor Brimey presented. Talk to those people. Let them, carry, because they are in the first best position to bring him down if you cannot bring him down. Because I knew how he went to this thing yesterday and he came out of it. So many petitions have been wrote against him and he was always, he always, he's always coming out of it. This is the question you need to ask yourself. Why is he always coming out of it? So, the truth and why is he still in system? When we nail to, to the proper authority, to you, 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 you can never hear them collecting money again. At least to your Global Foundation, Go and ask. The UFCC is still open there. Or go to the part office now and see if the operation is still in existence. So an apostolic is still there talking, doing video, doing many things. So and um, you are still here arguing. So please go out there, inform those people that owns UAS. You know them more than us. Inform them. Talk to them. If you don't know them, then look, make make your research. Nail to report Apostoken, let them take Apostoken to the appropriate quarter and lock him up and silence him forever without coming out to come and talk about UAH again. Let him be silent. This is a challenge. Let any bold one among you do this. Thank you for watching to the end. Kindly subscribe to our channel for onward updates and information.